Hi there! Today I try to make a book nook diorama of a Scandinavian scene with a cottage and some trees. Enjoy! I start by cutting out the shape of the cottage from foam board, ignoring the plan I had previously made. The foam board is 2 mm thick and I bought it at the hobby store. I start cutting out the walls of the cottage using the back of a saw, because I'm just that kind of professional. Later on I went and splurged on a metal ruler, just so the cool kids wouldn't laugh at my back. I sand down a bit the cut parts, just to have them even, and then I cut out the holes for the door and the window. The foam board was easy enough to cut with my usual hobby knife. Then I tried to glue the walls together with Tamiya Extra Thin, but that didn't work. I then tried with some hot glue, that did work but it was a bit messy. At the end I decided to use CA glue, which I later found out was frowned upon because it can melt the foam. Didn't happen this time though. I then started cutting out strips of 1mm thick balsa wood. This would then go and cover the walls on the outside of the cottage. I also scored the balsa wood with a metal attachment for the Dremel to give it something to dry brush later on and give it a more realistic visual. I then glued the strips to the foam core with PVA glue. I started from the back in case I made a mess. But it did work out quite well. I did use the whole strip and then cut out the excess once the glue had set. Balsa wood is extremely easy to work with. More scoring and more strips. Once I saw that the other sides were not a disaster, I started with the front. Here I cut the strips to measure, so I wouldn't cover the window and the door. Once I had covered the whole house with balsa wood, I started working on the roof. That one also is in foam board, 2mm thick, which I would then cover in corrugated cardboard taken from a panettone box. Thanks a lot to my employer for gifting me such excellent crafting materials. As I didn't know if I want the roof to be detachable, I reinforced it so it would hold the shape even if not glued directly to the cottage. I would then go ahead and glue the roof to the cottage.
I then glued two pieces of foam board together and shaped them into a chimney. I measured and cut out the cardboard and then glued it to glue the pieces to the foam with PVA glue. While the roof cured, I started working on the door in the same two millimeter thick balsa wood, or maybe it's one millimeter, I don't know. I used the back of an old blade to push down on the balsa to make some more details on the door, and then I cut out a small window. I tried to use CA glue here, but went back to PVA glue, it's better with the balsa. While the door cured, I started on the window. I used a corner of a model sprue to make it square, hopefully. I used some more strips to put in the details on the cottage, the ones that are going to be painted white later on. And I used some other strips to cover up the foam that you could see from the sides. Then I glued the door and the window to the cottage. Time to attach the roof to the cottage. Here I used CA glue. The roof at the end did not fit correctly to the cottage, so I used another strip of balsa wood to cover up the hole. I then used a small hand drill to make a hole in the chimney. That was harder than I thought. Some details of the progression, quite nice if I even say so myself. And then after some priming, time to give it a nice coat of red. Using some reference photos, I mixed my own red with uh, Tamiya Red and Tamiya Red Brown. Or is it brown red? I don't remember. Even though the wood was primed, I still needed three coats to get a nice uniform paint. The wood tended to soak up all the paint. I then mixed some of the remaining red with some rubber black to paint the roof. Maybe some brown too.
finally some white Tamiya for the white details. Also here I had to do multiple coats to get a uniform paint. While the paint dried, I started working on the structure for the book nook with 3mm thick MDF. I didn't want the book nook to be completely enclosed, so I cut the sides at an angle. I had to insist quite a bit with the knife here, but at the end I managed to snap it away. Look at that nice and shiny metal ruler. Such a pro. Using some tape to keep it in place, I used PVA glue to attach the parts together. more tape and then some clamps. Back to the cottage, I painted the chimney with uh, semi-gloss black Tamiya and then started weathering with the panel liner black wash. I tried also the panel liner brown but it did not pop at all. The wash brings out the scoring made before, it takes away a bit of the glossiness of the paint and also tones down a bit the red. I quite like the end result actually. I used the same black panel liner on the roof, but for the white parts I used a grey panel liner because I did want the uh, white to pop. For the base of the diorama I used some uh, um, isolating foam, insulation foam, whatever, four centimeters thick. I bought these uh, threes online, but uh, I didn't really like how they ended and the color. So I cut out the bottom part and then I painted them with a darker green with, the, uh, with my new airbrush. To make it easier to position at the end on the base, I drilled a hole at the bottom and put in some metal wire. To get the color right, I mixed my own with Tamiya Green and Tamiya Red Brown Red Brown Brown. I did go uh, through quite a lot of green here, so I had to buy some more.
As I wanted to put an LED light inside the house, I made a hole through the foam to pass the wires. I then tested that everything worked correctly before mounting it. I then mixed some Mod Podge with some PVA glue and some brown acrylic, uh, the art store one. And then I used that to cover and seal the foam. To finish up the cottage, I then did some dry brushing with gray, light gray Tamiya. I still have to find the correct brush to use while dry brushing, this one was a little bit too rigid. I then painted the tree trunks with brown art store acrylic. Time for some grass. I coated the, ba the base with uh, a thin layer of PVA glue and then I sprinkled the grass all over it. I painted the backdrop of the Booknook structure, mixing some blues and some greys and some blacks, starting with lighter tones at the bottom and mixing in more and more darks, getting closer to the top. I also made a hole for the wires at the end of the structure. I then made a gravel path with some gravel I stole from the outside world. As with the grass, a small coating of PVA glue and then sprinkled the gravel on top. Time to put in the LED light. I passed the wires through and then fixed them to the base with some hot glue. Then I put in the trees. And gave the path a wash. With the cottage fixed to the base, I could put it into the structure. With a good dollop of PVA glue. I then attached the switch and the batteries to the back side. And gave the outside a nice coat of black acrylic. I'm really happy with this build. I think it came, now, came out great. I will definitely be doing more dioramas, so if you like those, stay tuned, subscribe and whatever you do. Here comes the beauty shots. I say it's quite good enough. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Ciao ciao.